documenting and recording infidelity and cheating in a relationship is one of the most common requests that we get as a licensed investigative agency. One of the obstacles uh, that is often uh, discovered in finding infidelity is the vast array of vectors where this can occur. It can occur at work, it can occur in social environments, it can occur on a cell phone, it can even occur in person where a relationship partner, you know, your partner in relationship is elsewhere uh, performing these activities that are against the bonds of a relationship. This lockdown and this pandemic is creating a good opportunity for you as a relationship partner to discover if your other half is actually cheating or being unfaithful. And the reason for that is because their location is relatively constricted. They're in one place. And because of that, all their activities and communications with another party, you know, presumably, um, you know, a, a, a mistress or um, a relationship partner outside of the primary relationship is being done electronically. And there's ways that you can more easily discover that with a lockdown in place. So use this as an opportunity, as an advantage for you to find that out. Ideally, the partner in your relationship, uh, if they're locked down, would not be taking any activity outside the relationship. They're not going to be contacting a boyfriend or girlfriend. They're not going to be uh, texting, you know, an old flame. They're not going to be remaining involved with anybody. But if they do, their activity is much more visible and difficult to conceal. And you can find that out just by being more present in their life. Now, how can you discover this activity? Well, it's going to have to happen electronically on their cell phone or on computer. If it's on their cell phone and they're using your home network, Wi-Fi or otherwise, there are tools that you can use to track every single activity that goes through your network. Here's an article in Lifehacker that talks about how to tap your network and see everything that happens on it. This is a very common uh, mechanism we deploy in relationships for clients to find out everything that went through their network. If you look somewhere in your house, you have a Wi-Fi router or modem, and everything that goes through that modem is an activity that can be observed. And it talks about here in the article, your home network and everything connected to it is like a vault. Behind your login lies tons of information, unencrypted files. In short, you can recognize the signs that something out of your network is compromised. Right, So this is how we deploy this. You set up a network map, you identify all the uh, different um, devices, you probe the network, we create a little um, tool such as this, and then you download a, a certain tool. Nmap is one of them. Here's another one from SolarWinds where you can discover the routers and you can discover the connections where that router is going to and even record data that goes over that. Now, if the... Um, the party in your relationship is using a mobile device, you want to make sure that that mobile device is using Wi-Fi, not the cell network. And there's ways you can do that. You can um, encourage a person to not use your data because you don't want to overload the data. You can encourage them to do something that's faster because your Wi-Fi will be faster than uh, mobile data. But that's a very innocent request or suggestion for somebody to use Wi-Fi instead of the cell network, your 3G or 4G data. Once you do that and you install one of these tools on your network, you can observe any of the activities. Now, you have to check with the laws in your state to make sure that it's legal to monitor this, uh, make sure that accessing certain records or data is appropriate. Uh, you may want to get some legal advice from an attorney that's handling your case. Uh, but installing these types of tools in the right uh, circumstances in the right format uh, is something that we've used many, many times to discover, you know, if somebody's using illegal websites, somebody's using uh, improper um, financial data, somebody's contacting maybe criminals or um, performing criminal activity. Those are things that you don't want to have going through your network because you could be liable for it as well. Making sure that you have the right authority to do this is important, but once you install one of these systems, on your router or on your um, network Wi-Fi uh, modem, you can find 
what activity is being done, what text messages, maybe what images are being shared uh, or received through um, any type of mobile app. Even if it's a secure app like WhatsApp or through Facebook Messenger, you can find what activity is being done. And many times you can look up the activity. You don't have to scroll through 24 hours worth of activity. You can find it when you are not available. Maybe it's when you take a shower. Maybe when you go out for a run. Maybe when you're doing something private where that person is feeling more safe about their activity or maybe it's when you notice that they're hiding somewhere with their phone maybe when they go out sit in the car on their phone they make an excuse to go outside and you see them looking at their phone you can use those times to target the activity on these networks to find out what's being done during those times look maybe they're just buying you a surprise birthday present right and they don't want you to see it but you're going to notice that there's times when that phone is being um kept secure and kept away from you so you can't see what's happening. There are tools to determine what type of network activity is being used. And this is not an opportunity that you have in most cases. Most of the time, your relationship partner is at work, they're at the gym, they're at a restaurant, they're at a bar, and you can't have access to what they're doing in that moment. Use this time where they're locked in to your environment and also locked in to your internet environment to discover what internet access is being used and what data is being exchanged in terms of phone calls, text messages, photos, and other types of uh, communication with a potential relationship partner that's outside of the primary relationship.